What is going on guys and welcome to the very first Madden 23 play review and we are starting things off with Ed Oliver. So I got very lucky in a recent pack opening. I did pull Ed Oliver and as tempting as it was to sell him at the time, which is I feel like he's only going for like 80, uh, 18 k so which is not bad, but decided to do a uh, review on him. So let's get the first, let's get some stats going. 76 speed, 80 acceleration, 82 strength, 82 tackle, 80 blo uh, 81 block shed and 80 power move. So I will say right now, that if you guys have seen my reviews in the past i've mentioned numerous times that defensive tackle and corner are probably the two hardest things to review at a fast pace because if your opponent you know does not throw to that specific corner side it's going to just just take that much longer same thing with d tackle so when it comes to d tackles i'm going to be showing you guys how he does with pass rushing and how he does with run stopping all right now i'll tell you right now his uh, pass rushing was way better than his um, run stopping. So with that being said, let's get right into some highlights. All right, guys. So when it came to stopping the run, I honestly was not that impressed. Now that broken tackle, I will say, I will say that was my fault. I wasn't even trying to you know do the whole spam the X button. So that wasn't even all his fault. But I will say honestly, when it came to stopping the run, you know disengaging the blockers, he was practically non-existent. I was not impressed overall when it came to that. So unfortunately, that was a swing and a miss. However, pass rushing, that's where I got most of my uh, money's worth. Look at that, he chasing Mahomes now. Surprisingly, Mahomes was faster than him on that play for whatever reason. But look right here, the exact same game, like a few plays later, chasing Mahomes down. That's what I was looking for, you know, di disrupting the uh, play. And that 76 speed does come in handy because so many guys right now have Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray, and so on and so forth. And look at that, they're not going to outrun too often they're not gonna run um outrun Aaron Donald he is tied I believe for third place when it comes to speed for D tackles now as nice as it, uh, as nice as it was having him um, in the interior and you know stacking like that you are without a doubt going to get the most out of him doing this right here put him in QB contain and just hope your opponent tries to run to the side because if he does look at this Kyler Murray um, does not stand a chance look at that being forced to throw the pass way sooner than he wanted to throwing the pick and changing the entire game and that's going to wrap up this review, guys. Like I said, it was not going to be a long video. If I wanted to get more clips, I would have had to play five, six more games. Because like I said, for D-tackles, it's just that much harder. Um, but like I said, even I, I believe I played seven games with him. And it did not take long for it to show what it is he does best. Like I said, pass rushing is what you're going to get out of him. If you need a defensive tackle that is going to stop the run, you know, stuff the run, all that stuff. Do not expect that from Ed Oliver, from what I could tell. If you need someone to chase down fast quarterbacks or just get pressure in general, this is your guy. He's only going for like between 16 and 18,000 guys. That's not really that bad considering. As of right now, he is one of the one of the better D tackles in the game, so I would recommend getting him if pass rushing is a need for you. But guys, with that being said, I will be cranking out as many play reviews as possible. I got like four players I'm reviewing at the same time. So guys, for those of you who stuck around, I, I really appreciate it. And guys, hopefully this becomes a much better Madden season than the uh, previous Maddens. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys very, very soon.